Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much once again for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing this series. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up, that would be fan freaking fantastic my friends. We're keeping up the daily uploads here on the Python GB channel and I, for one, am very, very excited. Now you join me down here in the caves because I'm trying to get myself a little bit more in in terms of resources so we can go ahead and decorate our spawn house just a little bit so that is cool oh wow look at that <laughs> the damage of the beautiful musket you love to see it guys absolutely love to see it i certainly do so as always ladies and gentlemen if you don't want to miss out on the future episodes of this series you guys are going to want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with those bell notifications turned on and of course if you guys really want to go one further use code python when going Going ahead and ordering either one of the PCs from Apex Gaming PCs or any of the Sneak Energy drinks. And look at that. A trap. Get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha. Not today, sir. Not today. What I do want to find today is a whole bunch more lead. Because as I mentioned, I'm going ahead and I'm decorating my spawn house a little bit more with some different bits of furniture and various bits and bobs. It is going to look absolutely fantastic. You know, we haven't really explored past the corruption just yet. So that'd be a cool thing to do. And we've got the whole left hand side of the world with the jungle as well. So we've got a lot of things still to explore in our world, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be a fantastic time. Now, the comment of the day from the last episode is a person by the name of N Nautic who says, just so you know, Python, meteors only spawn after you defeat the Eater of Worlds. So you'll probably get a Demonite pickaxe anyway. Uh, thank you so much for that one, buddy. I must admit, I didn't actually know about that particular thing. Uh, so yeah, very much appreciate that one, buddy. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Uh, because otherwise, I would have been very, very disappointed, huh? And to be honest with you guys, I I would have to say that I completely agree with that particular nerf because let's be honest, otherwise everybody would always try to go for meteorite armor straight off the bat, right? I mean, you know, speedrunners love doing that. People who love to stay alive love doing that. And it just makes sense. It really, really does. Otherwise, yeah, like I say, you're just skipping a whole bunch of tiers of armor and gear. And yeah. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm not going to skip though. That chest in the water. Hey, buddy. Nah, get out of it. There you go. Get musketed, sir. Right, we're going to go down here. I can't actually see what's going on. Oh, an ice boomerang. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, I want to get out of here now. I want to get out of here now. I don't much want to die here. Hey there, little snowball. Get out of here. Oh, what the heck was that? Flink's fur? What? Okay. I've never come across that before, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely pretty interested to see what that does exactly. Uh, but anyways, as you can see down here, guys, we've actually got ourselves just a little bit more in terms of a supply of tungsten. Yeah. As you guys remember, we require 60 bars, okay? And I'm pretty sure... I can't remember if this is three alls per bar or four alls per bar. I feel like the amount of alls per bar has actually been changed lately for some alls, so I don't actually know. I mean, we can't go ahead and forget about this beautiful demonite as well. Yeah, six bits of demonite. <laughs> We're going to wind up having all of the pre-eater of world's demonite tools at this rate. Hey, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yet another gem for our collection. The final one we need. In fact, I can't even remember what the final gem we need was. Oh, it was emeralds, wasn't it? Because we used all of the emeralds to make ourselves the hook and then the emerald stuff. So actually, yeah, aside from the amber, we've got ourselves all of the gems that we're looking for. Nice! Alright, the gem goblin is satisfied, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing that can make this better is if we found some amber. Oh god, it's one of these things. Ha! 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 Yeah, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some serious World War II style flashbacks here, ladies and gentlemen. I think the one tip that I'll give to any hardcore players out there, or any wannabe hardcore players out there, is uh, do not go ahead and ride minecart rails under any circumstances. It is just a terrible idea. You'll probably wind up dying due to a trap or some stupid stuff like that. So, yeah. I've got to take my own advice here as well. Uh, yeah, we're not going to ride this. As tempting as it may be, 
We're not going to do it. Don't be tempted, Python. Don't be tempted. Come on, everything's fine. You'll still get to the places you want to get to, just in time, okay? Hey! Not a bad little find down here. A life crystal. There we are. And also one of these things. With an Eye of Cthulhu Summoner and a Spelunker Potion. Nice! That's a great little find right there, actually. Come on, let your boy get to that lead. Yes, yes, lead all over the place. Right, let's blow this sucker up. Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! Yeah! Oh, oh, boy! Okay, let's, uh, let's not fall all the way down. That would be very, very stupid, and that would make me very silly, Goose. All right, boom. There we go. Everything's fine. Don't even fret about it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even fret about it. Uh, right. I mean, to be honest, we're actually looking pretty good. Uh, so to finish off our little introductory mining session, uh, I do quickly want to go up here. Just go ahead and mine these little bits. Uh, see what's in the little vases. Get rid of that. Get that little gem right there. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to walk across the minecart rail and just see what's over there, basically. Usually minecart rails lead to something good, but in the case of riding the minecart rail to get over to said good thing, yeah, we're not going to do... Oh, God. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, this isn't very good, is it? Psych. Ha! <laughs> you can't even get over to me, sucker. Yeah. Oh, you son of a gun. She can get over to me. Oh, God, I stand corrected, guys. I stand corrected. If I was actually able to do this... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything's fine. Ugh. If she manages to... Ow! Son of a gun! Come on! Huh. If I manage to kill this girl, I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed a metal detector. Right? So, oh. I've got to be very good with this. Ugh. Oh, how am I still alive? That is the real question, guys. Come on. Come on. There you go. Fantastic. We got one. The metal detector. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. Son of a gun. Stop scaring me, dude. Oh, we got a fairy. All right. Where are you going to lead me, buddy? Where are you going to lead me? Oh, a chest. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't have known that was there before. I mean, well, probably I would have, actually. Eventually, I would have found it, right? But, you know, the assistance is very much appreciated, nonetheless. <laughs> Alrighty. What have we got in here, huh? Uh, water walking, sandcastle bucket. Eh, I'll keep one of them. Wait, ruthless breathing reed. Since when the hell does that have melee damage on it? Say what? Wow, I feel like the game that I knew is way the heck different now. What is going on? I don't even understand anymore, guys. Weird stuff. All right, fried egg. Boom. I'm going to eat it. Sod it. Why not? I'm going to pick that thing up. And do you know what? We are going to continue on until we have discovered everything that there is to discover via that minecart rail. Wow, there's like loads and loads of other places to go to. Oh, hello. I completely forgot. I've got an axe that actually does a lot of damage. Why don't I utilize it? That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll stay alive a bit easier. Huh. Coin pile. One gold, 53 silver. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't mind that. That's pretty awesome, actually. All right, let's pop down here. According to the detector, there is a life crystal nearby. I mean, that's definitely welcome news in these times. Yes, my health is always a good thing. All right, I'll tell you what else is a good thing. The amount of tungsten we're getting. We've even got 17 bars already. So it's very, very possible that when we get back to base, the amount of tungsten I currently have may just be enough. You never know. Well, I think we found it, guys. We've got ourselves both a life crystal and a chest. Right, making sure that it's not a trapped chest. It isn't. I didn't see any other traps around here. So we're looking pretty good. All right, Hermes boots. Let's put those bad boys on. Let's go ahead and dispatch of the trash. And would you look at that? We've even got ourselves a little supply of plat bars. Plat bars! Gotta love the plat bars! Ha! I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. All right, uh, I'm going to put the blinky plant away simply because we have the seeds and therefore we can make it into a renewable resource. Uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, oh. Lava? Hello there, lava. Oh my god, a gem tree. Well, howdy doodly do there, sir. 
Oh, it's a beautiful sight, that is. That's a very, very beautiful sight. And there is the end of the rail. End of the line. Okay. Oh, there's a house. And some more plat. Oh my god, there's so much stuff around here. Right, where's that freaking jerk dude? Oh, do I want to mine this? I'll probably get gem corns from it, right? Ah, yeah, get wrecked, you son of a gun. There we are. Ooh, gem corns. Bingo! I feel like I'm being incredibly greedy right now. I just don't seem to be able to stop. Oh my god, it's like that old Minecraft meme. Just one more block. Except in this game, it's more like just one more house. Just one more chest. Just one more whatever. A storm spear. Hey! I kind of like that. That's cool. All right, uh, I'll put those away. I will take the storm spear. That seems like a pretty good shout. And we're going to pick this bad boy up, ideally. Oh, God. Guys, I'm addicted. I can't stop. I just can't stop. There's just, there's freaking life crystals. How can I go ahead and merely leave it there? You know? It's like, ah, it's so silly. Oh, there's like two worms after it. Get out of here, you numb nuts. And then we got like a little micro scrub worm c coming out of us from somewhere as well. Oh, God. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Another reason not to end our little cave session. I can't help it. I can't help it. Hey. There's a skeleton merchant, dude. Cool. <laughs> hey, it's our first one of the series, guys. What you got for me? Counterweight. And he can't even put it in the freaking vanity slot. How stupid is that? Uh, right. Bone torches, bone arrows. I mean, let's be honest. The bone arrows, uh, 10 damage. These do only 5 damage. I can sell those. And get some better ones. Yeah. Give me a full stack. Whoa, look at the amount of gold coins we have. Damn. I mean, if I literally just take one of those, then we've basically got like a permanent semi-spelunker effect, right? Ooh. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and buy one, and I'm going to use the potion. Yet another chest. We have ourselves a trident in this one. That's actually kind of cool. I kind of like the trident. It's a pretty good early game weapon, and especially at our point in the game, it could prove to be a very, very good upgrade uh, from the tin sword. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and scrap the tin sword. I think its effectiveness has just been ended. Yes. See? And this is why you get the trident. It's very, very good. I like it very much. Especially when you got like a freaking army of zombies on you. You know? It does the job real nice like. Oh, it does. We got some more demonite nearby, apparently. I mean, again, I can't see it. Maybe if I zoomed out, that might actually work in our favor a little bit better. But there we are. Even more, baby. And by the looks of it, below us appears to be some sort of explosive, massive tungsten or death trap of death. Oh, God. I mean, look at it, man. There's loads of it. Get out of here. Stupid explosives. I think you can take me out that way again. What an embarrassment you are, game. What an embarrassment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. We've got ourselves a heart statue here. Very, very good for any future boss arenas we may create. And we also have shoe spikes, which means we can combine these two to get the tiger climbing claws eventually. Very, very nice. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely a fan of that one. Uh, let's chuck that down there. We've got recall potions coming out of the wazoo at this point. Uh, but there we are. We definitely do want to take the heart statue, ideally. So we've got an armored band of regen. We've got ourselves an arcane one as well. I actually got this one before the episode started uh oh man like there's just so much stuff i don't i, I literally don't even want to get rid of any of this all right i'll tell you what actually we'll get rid of that simply because we have the 100 healing potions now uh so yeah i think we're pretty good i think at this point ladies and gentlemen we are just about ready to go home i mean our spelunker has ended and honestly like i say we we, we probably shouldn't be too greedy huh we really really Shouldn't be too greedy, he says, as he continues to place torches, as if he's going to continue exploring. Ah, oh, okay, guys, we will go home, okay? We will. We'll, we'll go home in just a minute. We will go home. I promise, guys. I promise. All right, guys, I actually promise this time this is... Wait, wait, is that Amber? Is that Amber or is that Topaz? Oh, my God, it's Amber. I gotta take it, man. I gotta take it. Uh, right, I tell you what, the hammer can go away. <laughs> I never thought... I would go ahead and throw away a hammer, but here we are, defying the laws of what I would usually do. Uh, right, talking of stuff I should do. Ooh, hey, 
It's thundering. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really like the thunder in this game. I think it's actually really, really cool. Yeah. All right, guys. I need to go ahead and do a little bit of inventory management. Also, clay pots. Look at that, guys. The flower pot king is definitely coming into effect in this game too. All right, guys. We are just about there. Everything is nicely organized. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually see what I can make with this flinks fur. Because I've never, ever seen it before. The flinks staff. Ooh. We can make our very first summon weapon here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Okay. Flink's fur coat increases max number of minions by one. Nice. Okay. Believe it or not, we could actually make this. The only thing is, we don't have enough to make both. Dude. Do we go for this or do we go for this first? I mean, the flink staff is probably the better way to go, huh? All right. Well, anyways, guys, check it out. Oh, wow. We literally need two bars. <laughs> Two bars, and then we've got enough to uh, make ourselves the full tungsten armor. Wow. Okay. How many do we actually have? 106. If we can get ourselves, what was it, 75 plat bars, then it's full platinum armor. Unfortunately, we don't have that. But hey ho. But guys, check it out. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Very, very nice. Okay. So. Yeah, 75 Platinums needed for that. Okay, so here we are. Tungsten Armor. Let's get ourselves a bunch of that. We've still got 46 bars remaining. That is really kind of special. Uh, the Demon Bow, 14 damage. Not even an upgrade at this point. Uh, we do have ourselves the Light's Bane, which does 18 damage. But honestly, I feel like the Fisher of Souls might be our best thing to go for. I mean, we've got a bug net. Let's finish off our little fishing set here by getting that. Oh, turns out it's literally just made a workbench as well. So, there it is. Ooh. Boom. Oh, dude, that's so cool. The first ever time we've got ourselves a Flink's staff. When was this even added? Was it 1.4 or was it one of its subsequent updates? I genuinely have no idea, but we've got one. <laughs> and if we were to get ourselves a little bit more Flink's fur, I think it's six more. We'll be able to make ourselves the little summoner jacket as well. Dang. 19 gold coins. That's the amount we have right now. Not a bad upgrade compared to where we were on episode two, huh? Yeah. All right. So, uh, real quick, uh, where is our lead supply? Ah, there it is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take 150 of it. We'll leave. Actually, I'll leave a little bit more in there. We'll have 120 on us. There we are. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and uh, make ourselves some more lead bars is because I think it would be really, really cool if we could potentially make for ourselves... One of those glass kiln things. Oh, torches. That's all we needed. Huh, well, that's pretty simple. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get ourselves a kiln. There it is. And um, I'm going to put that in amongst the room with Christian. Yes. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, what else can we do in here? Uh, if we were to actually get rid of that, we could potentially fit a bed in here. And then maybe the loom right here. If we were to do a little bit of smart trickery, we should be able to get that all going quite nice. So there's the chains. I do believe we need ourselves a couple more bars. And where is it? There it is, the sawmill. And then the sawmill is required to make the loom, okay? Oh, we don't even need any freaking wood. Wow, we are really low on wood, apparently. Oh, wow, an, a, a grapefruit. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, let's do this thing. There's the loom. Uh, all we need to do now is we need to grab ourselves out the... What is it? The cobweb? Uh, real quick, there it is. We literally need only five bits, and then we're just about there. There we go. So, back to the sawmill, and we should be able to do this thing. There's the bed. I mean, we're always going to spawn back here anyway, because of the fact that, you know, my bed is obstructed. Ah, oh, man. If I was to do that, is it still obstructed? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, oh, hell's blazes. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, well, there's only so much you can do, huh? There we are. I mean, that still works, right? If we just get the background walls in, then, yeah, that should still work. Yay! Spawn point set, and I've got the beautiful nurse as my housemate. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 
This is looking to be a pretty banging starter house, isn't it, ladies and gents? We've got all of our storage sorted. A nice basic storage system. Very, very good. We've got every single type of gem you can get in the game, including Amber. And honestly, I think we're looking really, really good so far, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we're going to do real quick? We are going to make all of the types of gem corn that you can get in the game, including the Amber one. So we've already got two of these ones. Uh, where's the generic chest? There it is. All right, let's do this thing. So, one more of those. We'll have three of those, three of those, three of those, three of these, three of these, and three of these. There we are. Look at that. The collection. It's all there, dudes. Ha! I love it. So, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we have done a whopping great job in today's episode of getting ourselves upgraded to the max. Well, not the max per se, but we've definitely got a lot of upgrades going on here. We've got a trident, we've got a plat hammer, we've got ourselves the Fisher of Souls, we've got ourselves our first ever summon weapon here, we've got tungsten armor in amongst a whole bunch of other gear, which brings us up to 21 defense, which is very, very respectable if you ask me. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you haven't already, you guys know what to do. Drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. And if you haven't already, do be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you have those bell notifications on so you don't miss out on my future episodes. Remember, these episodes are daily, so make sure you're subbed so you don't miss any out. But for now, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.